Let me ask you, do you believe in yourself? Now, the reason I'm asking that is I was just thinking there the other day that, you know, our successes usually just start from that one simple thing. Just believing in ourselves. And like that snowball rolling down the hillside, that kind of belief in ourselves makes us have certain thoughts. And these certain thoughts lead to us taking small actions. And those small actions lead to small results. And when we see that small result, well then sometimes we're motivated to take bigger actions, which lead to bigger results, which leads to us getting closer to the idea that we had in our head. That idea that we had in our head where we had a huge following on social media or that we had a fiction book published on the Amazon store or we had it physically published in the local bookstores or that we had a huge online business or that we were on a sports field or that we were on a platform and someone was hanging a, a medal around our neck. And I think for a lot of us sometimes the reason we don't actually get to where we'd like to get to is because we never actually start off with that most important step believing in ourselves and I was just thinking like when I wrote my first fiction book even though I didn't believe that I would be able to write a fiction book I some small part of me told me Barry you could write a fiction book and because I had that kind of you know I think it wasn't a hundred percent belief in myself I think at that stage it was probably more like you know 60 40 60% saying, Barry, you could write the book, and 40% saying, Barry, no, you can't write the book. But what I did was I actually took action on the 60%. I started writing a few words every day that became a few pages, that became a few books. And then slowly I seen that I could write books, that I could be a fiction writer. But it really all started with off that kind of small belief in myself. So if maybe you're not taking action right now, it could be that you just don't believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, I would just maybe ask yourself why you don't believe in yourself. You know, do you believe that someone like you doesn't deserve success? Do you believe that everybody else is far more talented than you are? And if you believe that, thought, I'm here to argue with you that that is an absolute lie. Because right now there are people who are more successful than you, that don't know as much as you, that aren't as talented as you, but have just taken action on it. And if you don't believe in yourself, what I'd say to you is that, right, you don't need to 100% believe in yourself. But if you can get it over 50%, if you can get to maybe 51%, where you just take a small action that leads to getting a small result. And then when you see that small result, it makes you believe in yourself. That when you go back into your head again, it makes you take a bigger action, which leads to a bigger result, which makes you believe more in yourself. And then suddenly you find that you're not going from 51%. All of a sudden now your belief in yourself is up to 60%. It's up to 70%. And you're like that snowball rolling down the hillside. You're gathering more and more and more momentum because you're getting more and more and more belief in yourself. So what I'd say to you is that, you know, it's hard sometimes getting somebody to believe in themselves when they don't believe in themselves. But as I said, sometimes you don't need to 100% believe in yourself. You just need to get to one, you know, 51% just to get you to take small actions. And when I look back at some of the things I've done in the past, a lot of those things that I've done have been in moments where I didn't 100% believe in myself. I didn't think that I could write a fiction book, not in a million years. I didn't think I could record podcast episodes and have my own podcast. I didn't in a million years think I could sit down here relaxed with a camera in front of my face recording videos. I didn't think any of those. I wasn't 100% convinced I could do those. And I think sometimes we stupidly believe that you need to be 100% confident in yourself to take action. But you don't. You just need to be 51% confident in yourself. And as I said, that small belief will lead to small actions, which will lead to small results where you're going to see that you can get to where you want to get to. So I think that's where your success needs to start from. If you can't take action, is just try and believe in yourself. Even if you can fake it. Even if you can just get up to 51%, believe in yourself because all the good things come from believing in yourself. And the people who are successful right now have at one point taken action, got to where they wanted to get to because they found the belief in themselves. And again, as I said, if you think everyone is more talented than you, you're deluded because there are a lot of people out here who are faking it. There are a lot of people out here who are less talented than you and are still being successful. So give that some thought today. 
just get to 51% today, please, and take action. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.